anywhere I go, whatever I'm doing, the question people ask me is, what exactly do you do? And it's a complicated answer because we do so many different things all blended together as a whole to help preserve and protect Florida's springs, the sweet spot of Florida's fresh and natural water, the aquifer. Water creates the cave. And we follow the water to find out where it has been building caves for 50,000, a million years, however many, however long it's been existing. We have been exploring, mapping, and discovering significant features of the aquifer here in Florida for over 30 years. So we have experienced the changes to our groundwater firsthand. I spent a lot of time in Silver Springs, so I, it was always known as the world's largest artesian spring. More water comes out of the ground at Silver Springs than anywhere in the world. And back in the early 80s, through into the 90s when we were diving there. Man, you had to physically pull yourself in against this force. This force was amazing. This power of water pushing you. You were, I mean, it, it took an athletic type of person to cave dive at Silver Springs. And just a few decades later, you can swim right in with no effort. It went from an average of 900 cubic feet per second down to bouncing around 300 cubic feet per second as outflow. We are a group of artists, authors, explorers, scientists, politicians, and concerned citizens, all sharing the same passion of making a difference with the future of our water. We work together as advocates to draw attention to our cause and help to change the trends that destroy it. We produce media in all forms to reach out and educate. Exhibits at universities, museum galleries, television productions, field school studies, and legal actions are just a few of the things we do. And why? Why do we need to do all this? Because our springs, rivers, and groundwater are at a constant threat. Everything from fracking overpumping, fertilizing, overpopulation, to building an interstate highway right through the heart of the highest concentration of our beautiful natural springs. These are just a few of the current threats to our natural clean water, and the list keeps growing. You mentioned what inspired us with the springs and what inspired us to be advocates and activists. And it's really interesting because how I became inspired by the springs, it all just happened. I, it wasn't planned. It wasn't something I went out to do. It wasn't something I looked for. It just, I stumbled across this thing that caught my eye and got my attention and I loved it. For the majority of the time that I played around in caves and exploring springs, a lot of it was just for fun and thrill seeking and inspiring in those manners. But then as I met a group of really professional people doing it on a professional level, I fell into that crowd and started doing the same. So today, I wasn't really inspired or planned on being an advocate or an activist, but things changed. And so that's our role now, where, where maybe 20 years ago, all of us on this panel would have been out wide open, finding new things, looking for new places, exploring new areas, uh, totally inspired by that. Our role has changed and it wasn't our plan. It just happened. So get inspired, get involved and join us as advocates of our Florida Springs. Come along and leave a positive trail through Florida's natural fresh water.